threats have been rising globally. Now the button has been pushed, and within minutes, your city will be struck by a projectile that could kill millions of people. Even if you survive the initial blast, the dangers to your life could last days, weeks, or possibly years after the event. You have minutes to make the right decision, and we're here to help. Here's how to survive a nuclear missile attack. To pack their explosive punch, atomic bombs require nuclear fission. Hydrogen bombs, on the other hand, rely on nuclear fusion. And if you think witnessing these killer combos in action is something that you'd only see in an apocalyptic movie, think again. The world has approximately 13,000 of these weapons of mass destruction, 90% of which are owned by Russia and the US. Where's the best place to safely hide out? What body position would protect you from the explosion? And why shouldn't you condition your hair after the blast? Step 1. Get as far away as you can. The effects of a nuclear bomb can be devastating, but the key is distance. If a 140 kiloton device were to explode, the initial fireball radius would be about 400 meters. This would contain the highest concentrated level of radiation, which would then spread over three squared kilometers. The mortality rate in this area would reach 90%. The higher you go, the worse the effects would be. The air blast radius would be about 44 square kilometers. This zone will be characterized by the massive destruction of buildings with fire and debris everywhere. Add to this a thermal radiation area that will cover about 87 square kilometers. Anyone unfortunate enough to be situated here would experience instantaneous third-degree burns as they watch everything around them catch on fire. If you know that your town is now the target of a missile armed with a nuclear warhead, leave immediately. Being one kilometer away from the blast can save your life. Step 2. Find shelter. You're in the crosshairs, but not all hope is lost. Social media and news outlets have given you some advance notice. Get to a concrete building and head for the basement if possible. Rooms without windows are the safest places. If you can't find one, cover the windows or stay far from them to avoid being showered with broken glass. Stay there for at least a week. That's when most of the radioactive ash falls. Step 3. Protect your face. Unfortunately, you couldn't reach shelter before the blast and it caught you outside. Drop down to the ground immediately with your hands tucked under your body. In this position, your face can be somewhat protected from the massive wall of heat and debris. And no matter how far away you are, never stare directly at the explosion. The flash can temporarily blind you. Step 4. Take a shower. After the explosion, you'll need to get rid of your clothes and shower as soon as you can to get rid of any radioactive material you may have on you. Don't scrub too hard. You can break the skin, allowing toxins to enter through the wound. Make sure to use soap for your body and shampoo for your hair, but skip the conditioner. It contains cationic surfactants that will trap radioactive particles in your hair. Step 5. Get to a radio. The post-missile aftermath will be horrific with burning rubble, debris, and charred bodies everywhere. You won't have any electricity or internet thanks to the nuke's electromagnetic pulse wave, so a radio will be your best bet for hearing updates from emergency response workers. Your first instinct might be to go to check on your family and loved ones, but you need to follow their directions. You can't go anywhere you want just yet. The nuclear fallout means irradiated debris will be everywhere and made worse by blowing winds. Could this be the start of World War III? You better start packing your disaster kit, but what should you include? We can tell you all about it here on How to Survive.